On a clear day off the coast of Sinop, Turkey, something happened that defense experts said was years away. An unmanned fighter jet, no pilot, no human hand on the stick, locked on to a supersonic target dozens of miles away and fired a beyond-visual-range missile, and it hit, dead center. This isn't science fiction. This is Turkey's Bayraktar Kizil Elma, and it just became the world's first unmanned fighter to achieve a verified BVR air-to-air -air kill. Not the United States, not China, Turkey. And the implications? They're absolutely massive. Let me paint the picture for you. Five F-16 Fighting Falcons from Mirzafon Air Base streak across the sky in formation. But there is a sixth aircraft with them sleek, angular, and flying without a soul on board. That's Kazel Elma, Turkish for Red Apple, a reference to an ancient Turkish legend about unreachable goals. Ironic, because Turkey just reached one. The test scenario unfolds. A jet-powered target aircraft launches into the Sinop firing range. Kazel Elma's Murad Asa radar, developed by Turkish defense giant Asil Sun, immediately locks on. The radar tracks the target, calculates intercept geometry, and feeds data to the fire control system. Then, from the wing station, a Gok Dogon air-to-air -air missile drops free, ignites, and streaks toward the target at supersonic speed. Impact. Complete accuracy. Mission accomplished. Watching from F-16 cockpits above, Turkey's Air Force commander combat commanders, and the CEOs of the companies that built this entire indigenous till chain. Another Bayraktar drone, the Akinzi, recorded the whole event. This wasn't a tech demo. This was a statement. Now, you might be thinking, wait, haven't drones fired missiles before? Yes, but not like this. Let me explain the difference, because it's absolutely critical. The US MQ-9 Reaper it's fired air-to-air -air missiles in tests, but only short-range, within visual-range shots at slow-moving targets. Think of it like shooting at a target 10 feet away versus hitting a bullseye at 100 yards while both you and the target are moving at 500 miles per hour. The XQ-58 Valkyrie, America's loyal wingman testbed, still in development. China's Wing Lung 3 and FH-97, They've talked about air-to-air -air capability, they've shown missiles on pylons, but there's zero verified proof of an actual BVR engagement against a jet-powered target. Kizilelma just did what no other unmanned platform has ever done. Execute a genuine, beyond-visual-range air-to-air interception. We're not talking about hitting a slow drone. We're talking about tracking, targeting, and destroying a fast-moving, jet-powered target at extended range using autonomous systems. That's fighter jet capability, in an unmanned platform, right now, operational. So how did Turkey pull this off when no one else could? Three words. Indigenous, integrated, advanced. First, Kizalama itself. This isn't your grandfather's drone. Developed by Baykar, the same company behind the legendary TB2 that changed modern warfare, Kizaloma is a supersonic-capable unmanned fighter. It's got the speed, the altitude performance, and the payload capacity to carry and employ fighter-class weapons. Most UAVs are slow. Kizaloma is fast. Second, the Murad Asa radar. Active electronically scanned array technology. The same class of radar on F-35s and F-22s, now fitted to an unmanned platform. This radar doesn't just detect targets, it tracks multiple threats simultaneously, classifies them, and provides continuous guidance updates to missiles in flight. It's a mini AWOX radar on a combat drone. Third, the Gok Dogon missile. Developed by Tubitok Sage, this is Turkey's answer to the AIM-120 AMRAAM. Active radar homing, beyond visual range capability, fire and forget technology, and it just proved it works exactly as advertised. But here's the kicker. This entire kill chain is indigenous. The UAV, Turkish. The radar, Turkish. The missile, Turkish. Turkey just demonstrated a completely self-sufficient air combat ecosystem. No foreign dependencies, no import restrictions, total strategic autonomy. In the defense world, 
That's Checkmate. You might wonder, if this is so important, why hasn't anyone else done it? The answer reveals just how hard this actually is. Challenge 1. Speed and Altitude BVR missiles need kinematic energy to reach their maximum range. That means the launching platform needs to fly fast and high. Most UAVs, like male-class drones, cruise at maybe 200 to 300 miles per hour. That's too slow. The missile never reaches its optimal performance envelope. Kizzy Lelema solves this with jet propulsion and fighter-like performance. Challenge 2. Sensor Power You need a radar powerful enough to detect and track a maneuvering fighter at 30, 40, 50 miles away. That requires serious electrical power, advanced cooling systems, and a large radar aperture. Previous UAVs either couldn't generate that power or didn't have space for the radar. Mirad AASA changes that equation entirely. Challenge 3. The data link problem. BVR engagements require continuous communication between the aircraft and the missile during flight. If that link drops, even for seconds, the missile loses guidance updates and the shot fails. Maintaining jam-resistant, high-bandwidth data links at long range while maneuvering? That's extremely difficult. Turkey cracked that code. Challenge 4. Fire Control Software A human fighter pilot works with mission computers to calculate launch geometry, target aspect, closure rates, and no escape zones. Replicating that cognition in autonomous software requires insane computational power and software maturity. Most UAVs simply aren't smart enough. Kizzy Leoma is. Let's talk about what this really means. The formation of five F-16s flying with Kizilelma wasn't just for show. That's the loyal wingman concept in action. Imagine future air battles. Manned fighters stay back in safer positions while unmanned jets like Kizilelma push forward, detect threats, and engage enemies at BVR ranges. Pilots stay protected, mission effectiveness multiplies, costs drop dramatically. The United States has been developing this concept for years with programs like Skyborg and the Collaborative Combat Aircraft. Australia is pursuing it. China is investing billions. But all of them are still in prototype phases. Turkey just leapfrogged them all with a proven operational demonstration. This also shifts the global defense export market. Countries that want advanced air combat capability but can't afford or politically access F-35s now have an alternative. Kizilelma could become the export success story of the 2030s, just like TB2 was for the 2020s. And strategically, Turkey just joined an extremely exclusive club. Only a handful of nations can field indigenous fighters, indigenous radars, and indigenous BVR missiles. Even fewer can integrate them autonomously. Turkey is now firmly in that top tier. Off the coast of Sinop, Turkey didn't just test a weapon system. They proved a concept that will define 21st century air combat. Unmanned fighters aren't the future anymore. They're the present. And Turkey is leading the way. What do you think? Does this change the balance of air power? Is the era of manned fighters coming to an end? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and if you want more cutting-edge defense analysis, hit that subscribe button. This is the future of warfare, and it's happening right now.